Hello everyone, welcome to River Geeks. My name is Kyle Grantham and today we're going to showcase how to visualize DM and survey data within QGIS. If you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe to the channel. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drag in our survey, which is in a CSV format, and then our DM data, which is a t in a TIFF. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop our DM data, and then I'm going to set this symbology And now what we'll do is add the text delimited. So we're going to bring in the CSV, XYZ, State Plain, Mississippi East. And so we're going to close that. Let's make this a little bit more e easier to see. Uh, let's just make that green. And so what we have here is survey transects along this channel. And so if we're just wanting to visualize, look at, see how it lines up with the DEM. We can come in here and you'll need to right click your TIFF. Go to properties, your elevation. You want to make sure this box is checked, which represents the elevation surface. And you can adjust that color of that line, that symbology. So we're just going to click apply. For the shape file, based on the latest update, you shouldn't have to toggle that, the latest uh, QJS update. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to view and go to elevation elevation profile okay so I'll drag this up a little bit and so you have this capture curve and what you'll do is just draw that capture curve over your transect and now you can see those points and you can see as I drag my line over that profile you can see from that black dot you can see where um, you are along that profile cut and see where the survey points line up um, same here and you can see that the Based off the lot, the, when they flew the lidar, it was hitting the water surface elevation, and the survey is below that water surface elevation. And one thing to note is the the line buffer. So you can set that tolerance for that buffer. And so if you have a shape file you want to contain outside or within this buffer, you can adjust that with this tolerance. You can make it. TN, make it a little bit more slim, um, and that way you can, if you don't want to uh, include some points, you can make that profile, that buffer, uh, trim it down. So, well, thank you so much, and that's all I was going to cover for today. I know this is a, there, this tool is going to be improved upon most likely in future updates, but thanks again, and look forward to more content.